Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Gilberto. How are you doing today? Uh, my thank you, oh my God. Uh, and the training in, in San Four in Juarez consultor or, or actor. Who is consultor, is it? What is consult uh, consultor? Who? See uh, una, one company the training the in support. Okay. So you said that you are working with them or you are started with, with them? Uh, training the the for the company. Are you training the company? Yes. Oh wow. And what is the name of the training, the course? Uh Sale me sell close uh, effective. In Spanish, what is the name? Uh, cierre de venta efectiva. Oh, very good. And yes. you, and you have been. Uh, you will be paid by Insa for. Yes, in support supervisor the the course to the the salad man. Okay. Good. That is good to know. Welcome, uh, Mauricio Benavides and Katy. How are you doing today? Fine, thanks. Okay. It's a great day. I have trouble with my car and I have to trust to be on bus again. <laughs> <laughs> no, today was not a good day for me either. No, I... it, is a, yeah, it was a good day. I I, I, I enjoy it, to travel in bus. Ah, it makes okay. me comfortable and meet another people. Okay. So you had to go uh, early, right? Some minutes before that you usually go. What happened to you? Um, <laughs> I have a little accident. Really? But everything is okay, yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but was not my day. <clears throat> Sorry for that. I have wasn't too 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 much. Mm. No, but uh, still, right? We had to pay for for the damage because, Sorry. yeah. Anyways, it is what it is. Hello, Mauricio. Sorry, Leticia. <clears throat> Good evening, Leticia. Le Leticia, uh, Maria Leticia. How are you doing today? Very good. Very good. Okay, that is nice. How was your day? Did you rest today? Did you do you? Oh no, you work today, right? Because no, no. Uh... You say your day off are uh, Tuesday uh... and Thursday, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh, I remember that. Okay. Well, welcome uh, to this class. This is a class number 20. From today on, we are missing just five because this course is, has 25. 25 classes. Okay, today is Monday. No, uh, oh, was in, in Spanish. Okay, I was thinking another thing. But it's Monday, September 18th. Okay, 2023. Um, today we're going to have a review and practice from unit number three. Okay, 
We have first a lesson adjective, review and practice, and at the end, we're going to have some conversations. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to use vocabulary from unit three, okay? Good. Let me see how many students do we have right now. Okay, only five. Okay, let me see. The other ones still on vacations. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, what did you do on Friday? How was your Friday? Very well. <laughs> okay. I took the, the vacations right. Right on time. <laughs> okay. Did you go to the street to see the parade? I went to the movies. Oh, okay. That was better. Because uh, there are a lot of people that is really crowded. They go, go to the street. Yes. Okay. Welcome, Hazel. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. Sophia, welcome, Sophia. So we are still waiting for the other students. I was <laughs> I made a mistake. I, I, I so was um Hazel, but Hazel are uh, the student, <laughs> and she was from from. Uh, from Inglés Corporativo. She was just checking. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo. Welcome, Rodrigo. How are you doing today? Hello. I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. How was your weekend? Long weekend. That was really good. Yeah. No, but uh, I had to work this past Sunday. I did work because also I work for the University of El Salvador, but it's okay. just for just for two hours on Sundays because we work ah. in a in a program that is called a uh, distance education. A students, mm -hmm. uh -huh, students they take workshops because they we do workshops are not classes because that is distance education, right? They do it online uh, because they had to read the material by themselves and study by, the, by themselves. In the workshop, we have just uh, review about the material and uh, we clarify if they have doubts or questions. Uh, it is really good, but it is for two hours on just from eight to 10. On, on Sundays, but it's still you need to be prepared, right? You need to you need to read in advance if you don't remember some topics because the booklet that we use it has around fifty pages. Every two weeks we have a workshop. Sounds like um, the all the other people took the, the the classes on the beach. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it could be. No, but uh, it is really good. So there are some students that they uh they work, they work very good. Okay, uh, I'm still waiting for the others join us to this section. So, but uh, um, let me start with the one that are here. Okay, so I have question. I have a question to start the class. I uh, one that you remember. What? Do you, what do you remember about unit three? Okay. And what did you tell me like a uh, vocabulary or grammar that maybe you remember that we review that we started in unit three? Okay. Let me see who will be the first one. Hmm. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, Maria Leticia. Okay. Tell me, tell me, what do you remember about Unit Three? Remember the you should have mm -hmm. should have should have it shouldn't have mm -hmm. como se dice más superlative <laughs> como plus superlative or oh, you said okay superlative to pass Participo. Pas. Participo. Okay. And could have. Fix. Could have. Fix. Okay, that, that model, uh, perfect model, right? So when we use could plus past participle. Mm. Okay. Perfect model. Yes, very good. Okay, lady, okay. are you are you available today, lady, or you will be just as a listener? Yes, I am available. Ah, okay, because I can see you say you, you, before your name says oyente. Ah, uh, cierto. <laughs> Ahorita lo cambio. Okay, thank you so much. Ah, uh, what about you, Katy? Katy Briseida. Can you listen to me? Katy Liseira? Katy Briseira, I'm sorry. Uh, Silvia Estela? Are you available today or just as a listener? No. Okay, no problem. Well, I miss you. We already have the part of grammar that we have been studying. Okay, that, that is true. The three points that, that you mentioned are the ones that we already studied in grammar. Okay, Rodrigo, what do you remember about topics, different topics or vocabulary that you have learned in this unit? Uh... I remember the vocabulary, especially. Uh, I remember all the all the topics we talk about the restaurants, like a uh, waiter, like the server, like the <clears throat> uh, host, kitchen manager, and the other side. I remember uh, in, when we work with a schedule. Uh, the work schedule, uh, I remember the overtime, uh, the break, and the way we uh, we use a schedule when we for when we create a schedule with the break times, uh, the hours, uh, the position of every person. Uh, I think like uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Leticia say the should should shouldn't uh, should and you think that we uh, I don't know if, if it is superlative or something. The the yeah. most and at the best. Mm -hmm. Superlatives. Okay. Superlatives. Ah. Yes. Good. Thank you so much. Good job, Rodrigo. Yes. Thanks. We have been reviewing all what you said. Okay, good. Let me see who will be next. Okay. Yes, I won. <laughs> okay, Mauricio, what do you remember uh, related to phrases or vocabulary <laughs> that you have learned in this unit? Or if, do... if you consider that will be useful for you for your real life? 
how to order the, the, the ideas and how to express it. Okay. And when you use fears and after that, and then, and finally, uh, that's what, that's very important to me. Okay. How to organize the ideas. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. Okay, Carlos, welcome to this class. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> what do you remember, Carlos? In this unit. Yeah, unit number three. The one that be that we have been studying before. Uh yes, yes. Um I remember teacher uh actually the this a couple word that's for me, it's very important, or, or I like it. Mm -hmm. For example, overstaffing. And the other one is, um, help me, teacher, <laughs> overstaffing. <laughs> um, I don't know. She's... Understaffing. Understaffing. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, other all. Um, Topic about the uh, restaurant and um, you know it, it's like when I imagine all, all, all scenarios. Okay. And when we speak about restaurant or with customer, and really I try to learn uh, a little bit more with this topic. Okay. Good. Yes, and the rules of the company talks to uh, when uh, enter in a company. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, lady, what do you remember about the the teams, the activities that we did, but when we did the breakout rooms, when you work with a partner or group of three, what do you remember about that? Um, five steps. Uh, that you call use with the difficult customer. Okay. Deal with difficult difficult situations. Okay. Uh -huh. What else? A schedule. A schedule. Oh. Okay. You created a schedule for employees in a company. Uh huh. Procedures uh we follow every day. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, lady. Thank you too. Hmm. Okay, Gilberto, what do you remember? Uh, I don't know, a topic that maybe was useful for you, that you feel that you have learned a lot? Uh, I remember, teacher, the unit three, that this was uh, with my partner about the action the manager could uh, have done to improve or to solve it then. Uh, example, uh, Simon, Simon, one, Simon one broke three brothers on the best wine in the restaurant. Mm. Bagnone in the service has reported the issue. Okay. Uh, in the case, the manager took took that decision 
collect the, the main team survey, the three border white broken. Okay, and you remember that you gave a solution for that? Yes. Okay, good. Well, thank you so much, Gilberto. <clears throat> okay, Andres, I can see the word that says oyente. Um, I guess you are driving or no, if that is, uh, are you driving? Okay, no problem. Don't worry. When you are okay, I am from hey. Okay, when you are at home, just let me know, okay? Good. Uh, well, Sophia, are you there, Sophia? Yes, teacher. Okay, Sophia. Tell us, what do you remember about Unit 3? Um, I remembered uh, about the way to use the superlative partive mm -hmm. and how we can use the should shouldn't and uh, expression about the environment how we can uh, organize a schedule and um, uh, that's it okay good thank you so much Okay, uh, let me see. Rolando, are you as a listener today? Well, I guess yes is the answer. Well, it's okay. So thank you so much for the ones that participated. So we're going to continue. Um. Good. Why I ask you this? Because today we are going to review unit number three. Okay, if you have questions about unit number three, so you are free also to ask then. Okay, first we are going to review the 10 line paragraph right, that you already wrote uh, on, on Thursday. Uh, going to check the three reasons that support your position. If you are, again, in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. Let me check. We have uh, here. Mm. Okay, we're, we're going to start from here. Lady, do you mind if you read yours? Can you repeat, please? Do you, do you mind if you re, if you read your your reasons, please? Okay. I agree about surveillance in my workplace. My reasons are as follows: one, control of, first, control of the companies assets. Two, oh, say a second, <laughs> there is evidence of events that may interfere with the work environment. Third, at the time of filing a complaint, the recordings can support the accuser or accused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Let me double check. Surveillance. 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 Okay. Surveillance. Okay, good. <clears throat> Thank you so much, lady. Uh, that is good. good. Good opinions. Okay, Carlos, what about you? Can you please read your opinions? Okay, yes, teacher. Uh, yes, I think I... Uh, I agree with putting surveillance in the workplace because there is better control of employees and assets. Uh, number one, for me, uh, that it is important to uh, 
employee monitoring uh, because they can provide insight into employees' performance. And number two, help identity any performance issues. And the last one uh, could be employ employers can assess their productivity levels. Okay. That's the teacher. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Teacher, uh, employer, employer is is good is is correct. Employers are the one that employed the employees, right? Um, es como em los empresarios o uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are the employers. Employers. Correct. Yeah, that is good to use it in that way. Okay. Um, uh, Rodrigo, your turn. It is some confuse the point of for the following. In order to have much more control and security. Sorry. I guess someone is writing. <laughs> we lost it. It's here. Okay. In order to have much more, uh, much more control and security for the company, the surveillance uh, helps to check the environment and monitor the employees. Two, the people who were monitored, uh, they can say that their privacy is commitment. Uh, is commit? Uh, what? Commit, committed. Uh, committed. 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 Surveillance helps to detect other issues like random events or accidents where happened or will occur. Correct. Yes, good. Yes, because uh, if an accident happens in form of cameras, nobody can say, uh, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> because it has yeah. been recorded. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't can say that to you. Uh -huh. It has been recorded. Okay, good. Let me see. Julio, are you there, Julio? No, no, Julio is not here. Um, okay, Gilberto, please, can you read yours? Okay, teacher. I consider a good tool to monitor the employee. It is a great. Number one, can you do better job? And number two, it is very important for employees. Number three, it is also a tool for congratulating the good work. Okay. I consider I consider is a good tool, okay? Is a good tool to monitor employees. I agree. No, it is agree, okay? Because you agree with that. I agree. Okay. okay. And the first one, please do it um not as a question because this is a question. So it is an statement that you are going to to write to support your your ideas, right? Number two, it is better, it is very important for employees. Yes, it is, but it's, it is general information. So it is very important. You may provide the reason why it's important, okay? It is okay. also a tool mm -hmm, to check it if they are doing a good job and it can be useful to reward the, the employees the, or the workers. Yes, good. It's good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, yes. Thank you. Uh, mm, 
Okay, Kathy, are you here, Kathy? No, no, Kathy is not here. Uh, Maria Leticia, do you mind, please? You read. <coughs> In my previous job, they installed security cameras because we were victims of crime. Around it was also to keep an eye on all employees. At first, I felt uncomfortable because only in the bathroom there were no cameras. Over time, I got used to the point of feeling safe to have that security system, especially when I had the visits of criminals. A three reasons that support this position are number one, I feel more confident. There were, uh, number two, there was proof of everything. Number three, the boss could see them from outside the country. Okay, good. So your three reasons will be, I feel, okay, me siento in, in present because you said I felt in pasado, pero en este caso will be present. I feel okay. more confident, okay? There is, there is, okay? Because that mm -hmm. is also in present. That okay. is a proof of everything, okay? The number three is okay. The boss could, could see them from outside the country. Can check the camera, so, okay. 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 Mm. Oh, no, excuse me, Maria Leticia. So you're talking that in your previous job, not in the one that you are now, right? In the previous one. No, yeah. Sorry, I didn't I didn't pay attention, sorry, <laughs> for that. <laughs> you are talking about past tense. Uh-huh. Okay, no, 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 you are right. I'm sorry. Good. Okay. Okay. Um has minute one point teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, are you here? Robert? No. A lot of students are missing today. We are just you are just fourteen now. I'm missing around three or four. Okay, Hazel. Good evening. Good evening. Do you mind, please, if you read yours? Boy, I agree about surveillance because in our job, the transparency is the most important value because all our operation is it about money and monitoring the employees permit to detect suspicious sorry it was wrong but suspicious patterns and it's a tool to support the sales agents in the event of any customer complaint mm -hmm. very good yes thank you so much Okay, just be careful with capital letters. Uh, for example, here when there is no no period before it, okay, it's not, it's not necessary to use it. But uh, yeah, you can you can use period here, and then yes, you can use it. And also okay, be careful with pu punctuation, okay? Because we had just one long sentence divided just by commas. And we need uh, the, uh, to have uh, uh, pauses in the reading to uh, have better uh, understanding, okay? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good, that, that is good, good ideas. 
<clears throat> okay, let me see. Daniela is not here. No. Okay. Well, it's someone else right in here. Okay, at the end, we're going to check again. <clears throat> Just for your, for your classmates that probably I will be at the end in the class or they, you have finished to work on that. Okay, good. Teacher, yes, Carlos? I have a question. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, what did you learn in this unit three? Oh, myself? Yes, of course. <clears throat> um some words new words that i don't really? remember that, do, that i don't remember right now but if i check <laughs> <laughs> if i check i will tell you let me see okay uh yes i learned new words really yes I don't even... uh, that is it's true. very interesting but uh uh but do you do you are a teacher but don't know everything correct every, every day is uh learning correct and learn okay learning so you never stop learning. never stop learning yes, mm -hmm. yes 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 because uh if there is there is a uh a key for teachers that don't know everything. If you ask them, um, what what this is or what do you mean by this or what is the meaning of this? Uh or I want to see this topic, if they told you. So uh, we are going to see that later on. I want I don't want to tell you right now because you're going to get confused. So it is an, an a strategy <laughs> to, <laughs> to let you know. Okay. Give me time. I will be. I will be prepared to explain you. <laughs> but anybody will uh will say that right. But yes, that is a good strategy to use because we don't know everything, so we are still learning. And believe me, um, uh, this is this uh material is for for intermediate one right. But there are some words. That maybe I saw when I was studied. When that maybe I I studied then, but I don't remember, and because I don't use them. If you don't use them, <clears throat> you forget them, right? Yes, yes. I don't remember exactly right now what are the words, but I remember that I learned new words here. Teacher, do you have more groups, and and? Uh, a, a part of us another group yes and, and this english uh, english, english corporativo. Corporativo? yes not yet no only one only one ah, because okay. because apart from you i have a part-time part-time job in a call center and ah, okay. also and also i work for university of el salvador Ah, okay. uh, I have another group, but it's different because it's a different program. It's presential. No, no it's, it's, it's online. On, it's online, but it is is it is a different program. It is no um uh, English to teach English. It is a subject that is called uh didactic of English. It's more for... avanced. No. That is for the major uh for students who are studying this this uh major that, to teach English. Um, so I teach then how you to prepare teach, teach teacher. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Teach okay. then how to teach others. Oh, okay. Okay. Is yeah. uh, um how do you say? Mm, I don't know, teacher. I, I forgot the the word. Uh, uh, Didáctica, es no sé cómo se llama. Yeah, that is why it's called English didactic. Didactic, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Because I, Good. I, uh, we, well, 
we study how to create material, how to prepare lessons plans, um, how to create different activities. Um, also, we study different methodology. There okay. are there are a lot of uh, approaches and methods to teach English. It depends of the level. It depends of the uh students uh, age also and mm -hmm. for and purpose because there are different purposes to learn English. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. It is it is um as an overview in general about everything that ha has it is related with teaching. Okay, okay. Um when you stay with uh people and when when your native speaker, uh, how do you feel in, in this case? Do when you understand I... when you when uh, when you stay, for example, in a, an environment with a uh, people who speak with native speaker, and uh, how I... do you feel? Uh, do you understand everything, or 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 do you feel uh nice because uh when I say uh everything learning a little bit more mm -hmm. yes well, when you but... work when you work in a call center you get prepared uh in the different scenarios that that you will have conversations okay uh, you you are prepared with the tools and the vocabulary so when when a native speaker call you asking you about the product that you already know it is it is more uh e i mean it is easier for you to understand because uh really? you already know the the product right so vocabulary related to that you already know uh it is easier but when they um, start speaking with you about different topics that they, that maybe you don't understand or that you don't know the vocabulary in that way yeah it is difficult to understand them because um maybe you haven't heard that before but it is not necessary to understand a hundred percent but if you understand a key word right about what they are saying so you you're able to ask proving questions proving questions means like a are you telling me this? And you repeat what they are, what ah, you okay. understood what they are saying. If they ah. said, no, 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 I'm telling you this and this. Ah, no, okay. okay. The idea understand. is to try to uh, say word that makes sense. Correct. Mm -hmm. That is why you make sure you will, you if you have the opportunity one day to work, if you want to work, not go send it. So you will be um trained how to to ask these kind of questions to understand them better if you don't understand at the first time. Sure, but I think that it's very embarrassing to tell uh them maybe uh I don't know the first day is like uh I don't know I don't know what what I what I say them. Yeah. It's embarrassing, maybe. Or, or, or what do you do in this case? Would you ask to the boss, or, or I don't know, or, or maybe I previous to studying uh, the topics or or mm. schedule, or I don't know. The first day it will be blocked. <laughs> you you don't understand anything, <laughs> yeah, really? or maybe or maybe you understand maybe just uh twenty percent. Right, the first goal is 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 like that, because it's your first it's your first call with a native speaker, right? Yes, yes. Uh, but um, it is it is okay. So, if that is your first job, it if that is your first call, uh, people at the call center will understand, because that you have there like you have a. A uh, week that is like a. It is to test you, 
to prove you if you have the the skills to work with with that product with that uh, account or line of business because they will train you but also they will evaluate your your performance in that week you have to demonstrate that you are able to do it okay you had to pass the the it is called nesting, but uh, it is when they evaluate you. They evaluate around uh, five calls or more if that is necessary. And you have to pass the the, the test uh, with the, the percentage that they require. And then you get graduated. You get a certificate that says that you are prepared, that you are able to do it. After you that you get a job. Mm -hmm. You feel better as the days go by, maybe. I'm sorry? You, you feel better as the day go by. O sea, al, al pasar de los días, es, usted se siente mejor, ¿verdad? Porque va aprendiendo. Mm -hmm. You are right. So, uh, with the experience that you get, you feel better and at the end, you feel experience and that that make you feel uh, sure about what you are doing. Okay, nice to share. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for, for, for your work. Okay, good. Okay, we already provide the paragraph feedback. You are improving, very good. Thank you so much for your effort. Okay, we're going to have a review. As we said, we're going to have a review about unit three so someone told me uh we use the superlative form of adjectives yes uh we saw that superlative now i want a volunteer that explained to me the way that you understood this grammatical point with your words okay <clears throat> don't worry uh, you can use your simple words Okay, there you have examples and also you have the explanation. So you also can tell me when we are going to use this kind of uh, superlatives. Volunteers? Mm hmm Nobody? Okay. Let me see. Give me a number, Carlos. Teacher. From one to uh -huh. <laughs> from <laughs> one from one to eighteen. Uh fifteen. Sixteen? Fifteen. Oh fifteen, okay. Fifteen. You said fifteen. Or oh, 16. 15. Okay. 15, yes. Okay, good. Uh, Rolando Danilo, are you here? I guess no, because he said that will be as a listener. Okay. Give me another number, please. Uh, Maria Leticia. I said, give me another number, and he said, and ah, okay, excuse me. <laughs> okay, no. uh, number nine. Number nine. <laughs> excuse okay. me, Maria Leticia. <laughs> ya me alteró la presión. <laughs> okay. Just take okay. a pill, please. Uh huh. You number have a nine. lot of a lot of kind of, of pills. Okay. Number nine is lady. Lady was laughing. I <laughs> know. <laughs> ah, lady, tell me, how did you understand? You did you understand superlative and one example? Uh, and when we are going to use them? Hmm. Mm 
¿Sería como explicar en momentos de usar o cómo? Yes. Mm. Any, any idea that you have about superlatives? Um, use for compare uh, to or, or more things. Okay, good. It is okay. We use it to compare to persons or things in a group. Okay. Share. Uh huh. Uh, I think that when I have a one syllable adjective, add est to the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Est at the end. Est. Yes. Okay. And when uh we're going to use most. Share. The word have more than three side syllables. Okay, good. When the word has more than two or three syllables. Thank you so okay. much. Yes, Gilberto? No, ya se me adelantó. Compañero, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Dígalo, 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 no problem. Okay. Eh, the most uh, using the three or choose syllable. Mm -hmm. uh, the superlative form, okay, for one syllable adjective is made of the adjective plus EST, okay? When we use two or more syllables, uh, we use the most plus adjective, normal adjective. Be sure. Yes? Excuse me, a uh, syllable, uh, what is? Uh, is like a song or is like uh, when you spell uh, the order of the of the consonant and vowels? Okay. Um, in this case, is is the sound because if, if you see ah, okay. fast. fast we have just one, right? We have just one syllable. Fast. Fast. F A S T. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's sound. Okay, but if you said interesting, interest. Mm -hmm. Three syllable. Yes. Oh, okay. When you see the words, maybe. Yo, uh, he's confused I, because uh, como que si tuviera más sílaba. Uh -huh. You see, well, well, in Spanish, we know, right, that, uh, for example, if we say interesante, interesante, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, teacher. But also in English has... is... It's different. It, it has to do also with the sounds in Spanish because you said how many sounds? In te re san te. Okay, has to do with the sounds too. In okay. English, have three syllables. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, what do you remember about irregular adjectives? Uh huh. What are the irregular adjectives? The use of the verb. Uh huh. Sorry. <laughs> Lady first, and then uh. And then, who was good. Mauricio? Okay. Good and bad are different. Good and bad. Okay, that are the examples that we have. For good, what will be the superlative? The best. 
Okay. Evad is the worst. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Mauricio. In the regular verbs, you can use both ways. Using the most and the adding at EST as EST. Oh, yes, there are some exceptions, right? But we can use both. Okay, what do you remember the words? Which one are, are the ones? No, I, I didn't remember. Good teacher, and bad. Teacher, yes, Andres, I'm sorry. I can, I don't know if you say, I'm sorry, teacher. One word that can used in two forms, for example, cleaver. I don't know, or I listen, or, Cle but. Clever. Mm -hmm. Clever. Yes, I remember that one. Okay, let me see. Adjectives. I remember that I have that, that uh, presentation, but let me see, adjective can be used both. Hmm. Teacher, all is a irregular adjective. Can you repeat, repeat please? All, all, all is a irregular adjective. No, all is a... Uh, oh, all going, LD. We're going to add EST. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see. I remember that I have the link. Let me see here. I have one of these. Oh, no, but I, we have here superlative and, and comparatives. Both. Okay, we have, for example, uh, irregular that we have good, that is better, but uh, superlative is best. Bad is worse, but Superlative is, is worst, little, less, and least, much, more, most, far, further, further, farther, or furthest and farthest. Okay, um, let me see. No, I didn't, but I remember the presentation let me look for the presentation we saw that this week yes previous week okay let me see probably it was in presentation number one the week No, was number two. Mm -hmm. Was here. This link. Mm -hmm, this one. Quiet, clever, narrow, and simple. That is the one that can be you can be used both. It can be used with most or just adding I A E S T. And there are more exceptions, of course, right? Um, but 
we are going to see then maybe in, in context. If you are reading, if you see one of them that is used, uh, for example, a loan adjective that is used with Let me see again. Oh, but it's not this one. For example, if you see this one, right? That is used with this, the cleverest or the clever. So it's okay because both are valid. Okay. Do you have questions about this? What's mean narrow, teacher? A stretch. A stretch. Mm -hmm. Okay. This this uh, this rule only apply with the uh, with two syllables, right? Mm. No more than two syllables. Which rule? I'm sorry. Uh, for example, cleverest, quietest, narrowest, etc. Only with uh, applies with two uh, two or less syllables. The you uh, when we use uh, EST. Correct. It says with with some with some two syllables adjective, mm -hmm. we can use EST or most. Okay. Okay, good. Um, we're going to continue reviewing. We have a, a one conversation that is uh, related to to superlatives. I need to volunteers please, please to read that. Okay, thank you, Andres. Thank you, sir. And lady. Okay, thank you, Maria Leticia, Mauricio, Gilberto, Carlos. First, Andres and Lady. Go ahead, please. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My uh, organized. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That, that sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Efficient. Efficient. Okay. Organized, lady. Organized. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now, uh, Maria Leticia and Gilberto. Okay. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My stack on is always company. I use online service so that the staff can see their schedule for their phones. That song, like the most efficient, Way I bet it say a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Staff. Please repeat that. Staff. Staff. With F at the end. Staff. 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 Okay. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I was missing Carlos. <laughs> Carlos on, and teacher, Silvia. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Hola, and Silvia. Teacher. Good night. Yes. De acuerdo. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Uh, okay. Uh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is able to always complaining uh, i using an 
en la online service o so that the staff can see their shadow for their phone. Uh, that sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized, organ, organized, organized, um, on time. Okay. <clears throat> organized. Organized. Repeat. Organized. Mm -hmm. Organized. Yes, schedules. A schedule. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Julio, do you want to participate? Are you there, Julio? I saw hey, your yes, hands. Yes, I'm here. Ah, okay. Good. Who wants to participate with Julio? Me, me teacher. Okay, Kathy. Thank you so much. Oh, Kathy is Laura. Okay, me Silver. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Laura, how do uh, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. Uh, that sounds like the most efficient way, the most efficient way. Uh, I bet I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Thank you, Kathy. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, excellent. If you see there, we have the, the practice, right? The most efficient and the best way. Okay, good. So now we're going to move on to uh, review how to use perfect models. Okay, volunteers to remember what are perfect model use for. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, me teacher. Yes. Andres. Well, teacher, in my opinion, I can remember uh, uh, it's about the the should how the past participle. Um, uh -huh. um, then, for example, we use past participle when we want to. So when we want to know when we want, we want to say something that can it's like it's advice that we can give if we is we if when happens something for example when someone is tall or something and it's the alternative that it that it can advise this is a store. Okay, good. When we uh, provide advices, but you said in the pa for past actions. For past actions, something, yes. something that already happened. So it yes. means that we cannot avoid that because it already happened, but still we are thinking, okay, if I couldn't do this and this and this, and yes, that teacher. won't happen. Yes, correct. Very good. Uh, but too late, right? That is too late. Is too late. Okay, good. But yes, the good examples that we have here, okay, we should have uh -huh, past participle to talk about regret. It says, I should have sent the report sooner uh -huh, because maybe the boss is, is complaining about that. I shouldn't have asked her to carry these boxes because maybe she was hurt 
with that, right? Um, then we have another examples here with could. If I if I have known you were sick, I couldn't have gotten a substitute. Huh. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. Okay. So actions that already happened, right? But we couldn't uh we could have changed that action if we um do something to avoid that okay very good so questions about this do you have questions how to use perfect model no Okay, good. We have another example here, another uh, um, practice, conversation practice. Remember, should with pronunciation of the L sound, should and could, okay? You don't say should or could, no, should, and could. Okay, very good. Uh, volunteers, please raise your hands. Thank you so much. First will be Julio and Andres. Okay, teacher. I'm going to start. Okay. Where's Mario? He's late for this shift, for his shift. Manager. No. no, you are the kitchen manager. Uh, ah, kitchen man. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I... <laughs> Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Julio, are you there? <laughs> I guess he is not here. Well, uh, go ahead, Gilberto. Okay, Mario, goodness, I got called that he is very sick. I should have called, and she had told you early. Don't worry, he should have called, called me. <laughs> directly, call me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have to thank it afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, thank you so much, both of you. Can you remember should and could? Okay, good. Um, Lady and Carlos. Okay. Uh... Where's Mario? He is late for his chief. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to me to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you too. And then Maria Leticia and Rodrigo. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Mm, don't worry, we should have called 
uh, we have uh, we should have called me directly uh, if he had called to me to my phone i could uh, i could have phone a substitute by now i have time this afternoon let me cover for him okay very good thank you so much and then uh sofia and julio Okay. Uh, Sofía y Julio dijo. Yes. Okay. Uh, eh, where is Mario? He's late for his shift. Shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. Eh, he should have called me. Um, ahí continuó, ¿verdad? Yes. El kick, bueno, eh, eh, he, eh, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have phone a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay. Good. Now, so we're going to continue working about, uh, oh no, we're going to have a review about uh, these past participles. I want that you try to look for 10 verbs that you want to work. I will send this link to the chat. And you're going to write sentences that are that are um that include past participle you are going to create situations that include past participle okay so i'm going to divide the team in 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 groups in order you can work and that can be easier for you and you can discuss how to use the past participle okay let me open the rules. Is it clear what you are going to do? I'm going to send the link first. And you are going to select some of the birds. Teacher, uh, we discussed the, the verse in past participle. Mm -hmm. The situations where you are going to use then. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, let me look for the group. There, there you have the link. Teacher, what's mean? Bear, bear, body. Um, are you checking the link? Yes. Oh, and the website that you sent us, uh, Okay, give me one second. Uh, okay, it simply includes the base of or bare infinite first, maybe. No, 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 it's body. Mm, remember, this is base form. This is past. And then the other one is, is the other one is past simple. And the, the other one is past participle. Uh -huh. It is the same verb, but in different tenses, okay? So in that case, bear means soportar. Uh, teacher, ¿es, es body? 
B A R E. Oh, what do you say? But in, it's not included in this in this list. I I read the the um. yeah the first uh, paragraph. Okay, it is B A R E, B -A -R -E right? B A R E. Yes. That is an adjective. Ah. Bear. Okay. That is bear. That is bear. Infinite bear. Space. Bear. Uh huh. It is without any clothes or not covered by anything. It is like naked. Okay. Okay. That is bear. Okay. Good. Uh, did you receive the link? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me create the um, breakout rooms. I'm going to add three for each room. Okay, I will give you 20 minutes to discuss that, okay? And you are going to create 10 sentences using the, the verse that we have here, uh, but you are going to use past participle structure. You can use um, in the way that you have learned it here, perfect bottle, but you're going to use um, should, should have plus participle, or you can use could have plus participle, okay? How many sentences we're going to, to do? 10, 10. Ah, okay. 10 sentences, okay? All of you. And at the end, when you are back, I'm going to send to you the link. Or oh, let me send the link. But you are going to write um, the names of the three of you because you're going to work in, uh, in groups. I'm going to send it right now here. You can use Padlet to send it. There you have it, okay? Okay. Good. Uh, let me open the rooms now.
Gilberto, <clears throat> are you having issues to join to the station? No se puede unir, Gilberto. Me escucha. Está en mute. Sí, teacher. Hoy sí le escucho. Eh, no se puede unir a la sesión donde lo envié. Silvia, can you, ¿me puede escuchar, Silvia? Sí, ya, yes, teacher, yo, yo la puedo escuchar bien y veo acabar la clase también. Ok, pero eh, yo la uní a usted, déjeme ver. ¿Con quién? ¿Por qué no veo con quién me uní? Con el grupo 5, con Rodrigo. ¿Y cómo hago para entrar ahí? Tuve que haberle salido un mensajito. No, teacher, no leí. No lo vio. No, no lo leí. Mm, déjeme ver si lo pueden ver otra vez. ¿Será, será teacher, que, que me volvió a enviar o no? Ya ahorita la voy a enviar, enviar otra vez. Ok, gracias. Hazel. Yes, Miss. Uh, are you available or are you working? Yes, uh, I'm available, but I'm lost the, the connectivity. So I get out to the room and if you can help me, please. Okay, let me, let me join Thank you to room number one now. Thank you. We are working in, on this teacher, but uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Yes. I don't know if in all in all in all sentences we have to use a, for example if I use the should should have or shouldn't have a the, the article two for example I have a sentence the, that that I'm writing right now and say they shouldn't they should have to flow to I don't know if, if you, if I, if I, o sea, si no. tengo que usar el tú en todo. No, you don't have to use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it is no there. Just it should have plus past participle. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Rolando. The question. Tell me. Um. Uh, I use the tool had is is not correct. Uh, had had you ever e eaten? Have you ever? Yeah. Well, um, it is correct, right? But in this case, I was asking you just to use should should. Should, should should have should or could because that is what you have been oh, saying. okay okay the should have the subject plus should have plus plus, past, plus subject plus no past, past participle past participle mm -hmm. it's not correct the uh, uh, the you uh should had you no 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 ah, okay no, no, because remember, it should have plus participle. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I play I play in the soccer. I cook it in the night. I cook it in the night. Um, have it also. Esperate que no avisa. Ah, ok.
Carlos, Gilberto, Daniela. Aquí estamos, teacher. Ok. Tratando de redactar las oraciones. Ok, remember that I told, I told you to use should and could, right? Ok. Mm -hmm. Plus, should, ok, that will be should have or could have plus past participle. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Andres. We have to create with our partners, our partner, mm. 10 sentences, for example, in both, or one, 10 for one for one? 10, ten uh, both, I mean, 10 uh, in total, but both. Uh, yeah. Five to five. Yes, but yes. That is correct. If you want five and five, but also this cost, then if you understand uh, how to write that the the sentences, right? Oh, okay, teacher. Okay, good. Um, is Kathy and Hazel working or just Hazel and you? Just uh, Kathy and me, teacher. Oh, Kathy and you. Okay. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Cuando vine ya habían avanzado, entonces yo las estoy escribiendo aparte. Ah, ok. It's okay. Sí. Yo estoy okay. creando el padre del con las 10. Oh, ok. Thank you so much. Ok, Katy, when you have, cuando tenga sus oraciones, me dice para que la hablemos. Ok, ya casi termino.
Me avisa, Brice. Sí, solo una me falta. Vale, ahí están las mías. No sé si ya le aparecen. Ok, ahorita las voy a Hello, teacher. I am Robert. Hello, Robert. What up? How are you today? Um, uh, a little tired, but I am in in my house. Uh, today, it was my brother-in-law novena prayer. That's why I wasn't in class. Oh, okay. What 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 is the homework for for the prolet? Oh, we are creating um sentences using uh past participles. Ah, okay. I get it. Mm -hmm. How many sentences? Ten sentences. Ten sentences, okay. Teacher, I don't have access to the padlet. Who? I don't have the link. The padlet. It is in the um, in the chat for the um ah uh, chat of WhatsApp. Yes, and both okay. are in is in the chat in the WhatsApp group and also is in okay Thank Zoom. You. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, let me see who is missing. Okay, volunteers. I have in group one, I have Kathy Briseida and Andres. Room okay. two, I have Carlos and uh, Gilberto. Yes, sir. Yes, Carlos. Excuse me. I think I have a mistake uh, because only we need to do or put sentences with should and shouldn't. Should. Okay. okay. Should and could. And plus, could, yes. Yeah. Should have and could have plus past participle. Yes, but if yes. you have been doing, um, not including that, it's okay, but if you have been using the verb that is past participle, right? Oh, okay. No problem. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, who wants to be the first one? Volunteers who wants to read the sentences? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, uh, let me see what is yours. Carlos, did you work by yourself or uh, all in your team? Uh, in, in team, uh, my team review uh, on a website uh, mm -hmm. and review uh, different sentences with past participles. Okay. <clears throat> and you wrote them. Excuse me, Rob. ¿Usted las escribió? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, I really I copied the, the sentences this, that's in the website. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the purpose was that you try to create them, right? But yes, teacher. it is... It's, well, maybe that help you to practice if you if you just copy and paste, but the idea was that you designed the, the sentences. Okay. Okay, Tish. Uh can you please read then? Okay. Okay, number one. Uh mm -hmm. they have traveled to Europe several times. Number two. I had watched this movie before. Uh, number three, we have know each other for age. Uh, number four, tonight's performance has been canceled. They should have arrived by now. Number six, credit card are taken. Number seven, the goods made in this factory are excellent quality. Number eight, the author has written four novels. Written. Uh, the author, uh, is here. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. The number A, the author has written for novels. Number nine, you must be exhausted. And the last one, uh, the bank has been uh, robbed. 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 Yes, thank you. Robbed. Okay, number nine is is an irre irregular, irregular uh sentences, right? Because, um, mm, when we use be and exhausted, is an adjective. Right? Ah, it's it's no verb. Exhausted. Search for it and let me know. Excuse me, teacher. Búsquela y dígame. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. It is an adjective. Okay. So in this case, mm. this is irregular. No es, no es normal, o sea, no es usual that you, that you use this. But you can say that is a... That is, uh, it is uh past participle, right? But it is it is no like um using the verbs the the in normal I mean in the past participle because no is not a verb. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. teacher, excuse me. Uh, es como que es... Aquí estoy leyendo que se deriva de verbos regulares. Se deriva, ajá, pero no es. No es, no es un verbo, uh, no es verbo, es adjetivo. Ah, ok. Okay, uh -huh. ok, good. Uh, 
Well, guys, because of the time, we're going to stop it here, and but we're going to review them tomorrow. You can continue writing if you want, okay? But we're going to continue reading them tomorrow and checking, okay? Um, we're going now to re to work in the homework. I remember that we didn't or we we completed. I don't remember. Let me check it. Uh, what is it? Okay. Will be homework section three. Section three and three point nine. Teacher, uh, we don't see the screen. Okay, just a moment. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We have a review there about what we, we have been studying. Okay, we we have an more old or older. Brother. Older. 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 Okay. Her illness is more serious or most serious? More serious. More serious. More serious than the doctor expected. Okay. A lot of warm weather. If the weather is. Uh huh. Colder. Colder. If the weather is colder, uh huh. I will colder. get sick. I will get sick. Okay, good. The dress is. More beautiful. beautiful. More beautiful than the one. Than the one. Okay, good. Number five, he is Richer. 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 Okay, richer than our Arthur. 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 Okay, very good. There we have it. Said it. Have you sent it? Yes. Okay, let me check now again this um platform to see how are you here. Okay, we should be a hundred percent in in one, two, and three sections, and also in the meter. Okay, so Carlos Ernesto, very good. We are good so far. Um, then Daniela, we are good. Yes, you have worked more because you are already working unit four. Uh, Gilberto Benito. So I'm is missing maybe two here, and once one uh section in in the number three, and you have sixty nine in the meter in me. Oh no no no! Sorry, you already work more. Okay, you have a hundred percent here. Okay. Let me see, Hazel, you are good. Wow, you already finished all of them. Jose Andres, we are good. Okay, Julio, good. 
Kathy Briseida, yes, very good. Lady, yes, good. Luis Rodrigo. Is I have a I have a pending uh, homework. Yes, you are I will do tomorrow. Yes, good. You are missing just one. Maria Leticia, we're good. Mauricio Hernan Benavides uh, is missing one from this uh, section, number three. And maybe you are missing just two uh, questions from section number two, but good. Okay, and then we have, um, I guess is uh, Rolando Danilo. Uh -huh. Rolando Danilo, you have 88, 92, and 40, and 85. Please try to complete all of them. Roberto Carlos is good. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Please mute, mute yourself, your, your, okay, thank you. Uh, Sylvia, very good. You are missing, I guess, just three, three uh, questions in the section number two. Sophia is good. Okay, and William Roque, that is still pending. Okay. Well, that is everything, guys, that I have for today. Thank you so much for being working very hard. Tomorrow we are going to start. Uh, oh, this is okay. Tomorrow we are going to start unit four. Uh, please be on time and thank you so much for your attendance today. Okay, see you tomorrow. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Okay. How to identify? Which exercise, which, which exercise missing? How? I can identify. Yes. Uh, uh, really, I, I review the the first um, uh, chapter, maybe. And I'm missing one homework, I think. Mm, I see, Carlos. Um... Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. See, tomorrow is okay okay tomorrow mm -hmm. I, i'm going to let you know okay thank you okay, okay. you're welcome see you okay. tomorrow good night good night. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. bye 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 bye